Okay, guys. So uh, we're back. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you, Tommy. Uh, this is Texas. That we're training in. Tommy comes from Louisiana. Now, if you don't like the Cowboys, you got to play for Texas. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Right, Tommy. I, I got him. Uh, I got him back there so that uh, y'all can see everything that we're gonna do. Again, I have my computer pointing north. That way, I don't put this cabinet on the wrong cabinet. Now, it's going to look weird what you're looking at and what the computer... Well, no, actually, you'll see how this is working. Okay, so the first thing... So this is a continuation of a video that we're working on. It's a three-part. We already drew the rooms. Here it is. So uh, all three of these videos are going to be named similar. Uh, let me see what I'll name this thing. So if you look for... Uh, Give me a second here. Which word? Uh, it's going to be called um, Control D. Uh, yeah, it's going to be called Drawing a Bedroom, Kitchen, and Bathroom with Walls and Doors, which we've already done. Now we're going to do the cabinetry, and then we're going to do the bathroom. So uh, I try not to make my videos too long. Okay, so here we go. So we've already drew the um, <clears throat> the rooms. Now we're gonna draw cabinets, the lowers, the uppers, and I'm maybe gonna show you how to put in a microwave, and uh, then we're gonna put a refrigerator. Then then there's some uh, shelves and some desks that we're gonna put in there. Normally you wouldn't put a desk, but in this case this desk is a permanent fixture. We're not gonna paint on top of it paint around it. So here we go. Now, <clears throat> normally, the, the way I do it, I would go in here on, under my options. I go to templates. I would load a template and I go to refrigerator, click here, and then uh, and I would hit tab because this is facing the wall. And I would put my refrigerator right there. And that would be, that's all there is to it. How to do that so uh, and that is going to detach and reset the reason that I put it in there is that it gives me a position where I'm going to start my cabinetry that's the only reason that's there and also if I had to detach and reset it later I know there's a refrigerator for references okay okay so um, so let me show you how um, how you would do it okay so if you go to to your uh tools right you see right here these things are called blocks and area the difference between those two they're reference points okay so area is all it's going to do is subtract flooring block will take out wall you know Think of things from the wall, from the floor, from the side of the wall, from the side of the wall, all the way around it, and tell it. And, and I'll explain that. So we're going to create a block, okay? So I'm going to hit, um, you know, if I hit O for block, it would allow me, you see how it selected block, right? I use O. But you would click on that, on this thing right here. It's the same thing, and it's, it's selected O. You would just create a little block. Okay. Then I would go in and, and just move it to the left. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to go in here. Right here, let's enlarge this thing here. So I'm going to move this anchor point left and right. I'm going to select the width of this because this is the width from here to here, right? Now, here's the deal. Oh, so. You know what? Uh, one thing I wasn't showing. Sorry about that, guys. Y'all can't see. Okay, so uh, I, I had that turned off. Sorry about that. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to get the right measurement, you know, here you would have to do this so you could use a, 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 a device. Or for me, the easiest thing for me to do just grab measure tape and just cut a piece for it. 
This guy, because if you go from here to here, it's going to take you all the way to the wall. But that's not, that's, all I want is the, the, the size of this guy right here. So it's two four. So two feet, four inches, not 2.4. You hear, you, you get that? So this one is two four, two four, two, uh, uh, two feet, four inches. So what am I going to do is I'm going to hit two comma four. Okay, and if you notice, it's two four. Now, so the next measurement I want is my depth. Because let me show you what this is looking like so far. So uh, I'm looking at the back of my wall, right? I'm going to hit 3D and look. See, it's, it, that's the block, right? So the depth of it, if I click here, okay, this is the depth of this refrigerator. This is called the depth. From here to here, the depth of the, the lower cabinet. From here to here is the depth of the upper cabinet. So I want to know how big this refrigerator is. Again, you know, it's easier. You can't always use your uh, uh, digital devices. You could. Uh, to me, it only takes a second just to go like this, measure, and it is two five. So I'm going to change it for two feet, five inches. Okay, so five. Two feet, five inches. Two comma five. Two comma five. Okay, so... Now let's go to 3D. It didn't change it much, right? But what, what what's the problem there? Look how little it is. Okay, so now we're gonna click here. You're gonna go to properties. What's what's one way to get into your properties, Tommy? Hey, he's still clicking. Sorry. Uh, one way way I've been using it is click on your block. Uh-huh. And you'll see the uh, icon. Right, right. Okay, that's, right. that's your property icon. Okay, good. That's one way. We'll do it that way. He said, go in here. You select the item. You click on this icon. Right, it's your property. So when you hover on top of it, it tells you that it's the properties. So we're gonna click there. Now, if you go to the height, right there, you see I highlighted the height for you. You're gonna see it's three feet. Now, remember. Uh, you remember I was telling y'all uh, how important it is to to use your measuring device. Now, what, what, watch me. What I'm going to do so first, I'm going to get control. Basically, I'm going to make sure that you know you don't want to have it like this and try to measure, right? You you want to have control of it about almost the same distance. Now. I don't know if you can see my foot. Yeah, you can see it right here, right? Look, look at my foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot right there. If it was a wall, I would put it against it. That way, look. You see how I can control this thing? It's not going all over the place. I'm just, I got my foot right against that thing. So, and, and who, who, man, who, who, okay, I missed it. Okay, so you see, it don't move around on me. So right now, we got five feet, three inches. So we're gonna make that five feet, three inches height. So go to height, five feet, three inch, five comma three. Now, let's go to 3D and look at that. Now you got the size of a refrigerator. Okay, now, <clears throat> The next thing we got is the next thing I want to do is do my lowers. You always do your lowers first and then you do your upper cabinets because when you're trying to select the lower and the upper, sometimes it gets a little cumbersome because you're gonna we're gonna stack this together. Okay, so uh, am I going too fast or are you are you fed up with me? No, I'm good. Okay, good. So one, one of the things yeah, got, go ahead. One Right. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, so, so this is what he's talking about. Okay. So, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut 
I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, so if you hit the block, okay, the, the I, I, uh, tool, and let's say I, I'd say, okay, well, I think it's from here to here. Look, if I click right here, I pass those walls, look what happens. It disappeared, right? It didn't let me do it, and it didn't tell you that it was going to disappear. Let's try it again. This time, I'm going to draw a block. I'm gonna go. I'm not. I'm gonna touch the left hand side, but I'm gonna pass the bottom one. Right? Same thing. It disappeared. You can sit there over and over and over and messing with this thing. This is what, especially when I'm in a hurry, because even with even when you're experienced, uh, you'll you'll catch yourself. Like for instance, I, I, I already got one drawn here. Right? Look, I'm gonna try to put it here. Look, it bounces back. You see? Now, if I click on it and I take my time, you see how that snapped to that wall? And then it snapped to that wall and I release it. It still didn't take it right. Look, you have to be real careful. Like, you see that red circle with a slash on it? That tells you if you put it there, it's not going to work. So, so if, if you go up, and snap to those lines, then it goes in. And it's a little tricky to do that. So really the easiest way to do that to, to do this is doing it this way. So I'm just gonna create a block. I'm just gonna throw it in there, right? And then I'm gonna move it over and snap and snap. Okay, then I'll start drawing this way and drawing this way. Because you could sit there playing and just, especially when it's real small, it's hard to put in there. Okay, so let's go put this guy back in since we already got all the measurements. Okay, now, now we're going to do the lower cabinets. We're going to use the block tool again. So uh, we're going to hit block. I'm just going to throw it in there. I'm not going to try to get accurate, right? Look. I'm going to snap to this, and then I'm going to snap to that one right there. Now, if you have trouble trying to snap to it, enlarge the area, and then get, you see, it's actually snapping a little bit further. It, it's not letting me. Uh, okay, so look, so if you have this kind of problem snapping like this, and I, I'm going to tell you what your problem is. So. Uh, so watch what I'm fixing to do, Tommy. On yours, he's using X1, I'm using 28. So uh, his might be a little bit different than mine. So, so look, watch this. If you come right here, if you go to your options, we're going to go to yours on your options, right? If you go to options while you are on a, 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 a claim, you go to your preferences, you, right here where it says snap to grid, and uh, yeah, get that uh, get that out of the way. You hit OK. Now, if I enlarge this area, you see a while ago, oh, yeah. it, it was trying to snap to that grid. That's why it wouldn't let me get close to this one here. Okay. Were you having the same problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. You see? Okay. Okay, that fixes that. So now... Uh, I'm going to show him here. Let me pause this for a second. I'm going to show him on his computer because he's using Windows X1. So give me one second. Control S. Okay, guys. So I just came back. I had to show him a couple of things. So now the first thing you want to do is uh, like, for, for instance, this first one, we're going to uh, double click on it and we just call it REF refrigerator, right? I, I try not to make this line works too long because then uh, it, your, your drawing is going to get real cumbersome. Okay, now this block right here, we're going to call it bottom, uh, it's, it's actually it's called lower cabin tree, right? So I'm just going to type L-O-W for lower and then C-A-B for cabin tree, right? And hit enter. Now we know there's a lower cabin tree. Okay, have you done that? Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the width of it first. So I'm going to, 
So I'm going to click on the left anchor point. Did you click on the left anchor point? Okay, and I'm going to select the the uh, the width of it, and then we're going to measure. Okay, same thing here. It's going to be a lot easier just to measure with the uh, measuring tape. Now, when you measure with a tape, you can't measure like this because there's there's a little thing here, right? You need to get in between there, and then you can oops, go in here in between there and uh, grab it and, and then measure, right? So this is exactly five feet. So the, the width of it is five feet. So you type five enter. Now the next next thing we will need to do is select the upper um, the upper uh, box, and then uh, we're going to change the depth of it. Okay, so I'll see your anchor point. Okay, so I want to select from the wall to the beginning, not the drawers. And then, okay, so uh, two feet. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the properties and we're going to go with the depth, right? We're going to go measure the depth. And that is, uh, and most of them are, are like 210 or 29. This one happens to be uh, 210. Excuse me, one ten. No, two ten. Two ten. So it says two comma ten. Two comma ten. Okay. Two comma ten. Now, I'll get so excited about this stuff. My brain is way ahead. But when I type stuff, I type it right. But uh, so that, that you just measured was the. Oh, did I say that? Yeah, no, that's the height. Yeah, and I'm. But you, but you do that. Yeah, and you can. <laughs> you, you'll you'll see it down there. I do that every once in a while. It's just that I always try to do my recording so fast. If I did it real slow, man, I could. You know. Now, so let me show you where we're at. So if I hit 3D, yeah, and uh, there you go. See, that's what it looks like. Now, now we got the uppers. So we're going to do the same thing, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, and um, okay. go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So since the bridge is orange, do all classes come up orange, or is that just because that's the no. one class? Uh, no, it's just the way that, the, no, it, it's just the, how you're viewing it. Okay. It, it, it's, you know, if you hit 3D, mm -hmm. it, 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 and you look, 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 I, Oh, no, you, oh, you're, you're going to see, see if you see. if I, you I, highlight I to, it. I had the cursor on there. Morning. Right, right. Yeah, that's what he, so he, he was asking if these things are all uh, different colors, and they're not because it's if you're selecting it, lets you know what you're selecting. Because right. on yeah. 3D, I could go in here and manipulate this thing. You see? And, and, okay. and you can move them up, make them water, dark, but... Uh, it's a little, I don't like doing it on 3D. It, 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 it's kind of, a, to me, it, it's a lot harder. I'd rather use 2D or, or 1D. Okay, so now we're going to do the upper cabinets. The, not the problem, but one thing we have to keep in mind with the upper cabinets is that you see how high it is from the floor? We're going to have to lift this thing up to the floor. Right? And, and so let's, let's uh, so this is another. Uh, 
thing we're gonna have to worry about this time. Okay, so look, we're gonna uh, we're gonna draw the a block, right? And I, I'm oops. Okay, so let me show you something that, that I did. Okay, so if I go into my block, which is, you know, uh, it's under tools and it's right here, right? But I use the command. So if I go into the block and I click right here and I click and drag and try to put it in the middle of the room, nothing happens. You know why? Because a block can only be inside the room that you're going to place it in. If you try to go beyond the wall or even a missing wall, it's, it's going to disappear. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. You see right here, there's a missing wall right here. Remember, we went in and we deleted that wall. Now, let's say that you, had, you deleted that wall, but now... Let me show you how simple it is. Okay, so uh, look, Tommy, look, come here. I think I've shown you this before, but so look, I, I'm hovering again, uh, right here, right? And so look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this area until I get right in the middle of those two. And that, that's my wall there, right? So if right. I click here, if I click right here, it selected that wall, you see? Right. If I hit delete, it puts that wall back. Puts it back. Okay. Okay. So I'm um, gonna hit Control Z. I just wanted to show this guys where, why it wasn't letting me draw this block. Cause look, I'm going beyond that block and doesn't let me now. Right. Now we know that the wall's right here, right? So I'm gonna move it over to the right a little bit, and when I click, it it goes in. Okay. So when you're trying to draw, and you keep on drawing, trying to draw, mm -hmm. is because you're going further than a wall. And yeah, like I, was I, said, I was having that challenge yesterday. Okay, like so yeah. well, now you know why, what the problem you were having. Okay, so. I, yeah, I didn't know why at first. Uh, I didn't know why. Okay, so now we're gonna do the upper cabinets. Okay. So you can go back to your cubby hole there. <laughs> okay, so now, um, <clears throat> so we know this guy was five feet wide right so so let's click on that top block and bef let's go ahead and rename it tommy okay, okay. so let's call it u p you, you know just put u p you you could put u p p uh and then c a b for upper upper cabinet right okay, okay. okay. now now we, so the first thing i want to do is i know that the width is five because that's what the bottom one is. You click on that right anchor, change it to a five. And we know that the depth is one foot, but we're gonna measure it. I know what it is because I've been doing it for a while. If I measure, see, boom, one foot. Okay, so, so the depth is one foot. Okay, we're almost there. Let me see. Okay, now Tommy and y'all, now we're gonna do. Do you think? Do you think you know where you can tell me where the uh, uh, the 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 base height is on this thing? It's it's actually called uh, from the base uh, from the floor or something like that. But I, I don't know where it's at. But uh, you know you know where to find where to put that that thing. Perfect. You go to properties. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, you see right there where it says distance from floor. Yes. This is what you want to do. Now, here's the deal, guys. When you're down there, a lot most of the time, you might not be able to measure. Don't do it this way. Don't. Don't. Do this. You know, that, that, guys, that don't work. If you see somebody doing that, they, no, they don't know what they're doing. No, they might know what they're doing. They're lazy. Oh, okay. okay? okay. I, I believe in getting, because if anybody's ever been to this school, yeah. you've got to be the closest thing. 
And you cannot get to the twelve percent by doing that. I don't care how long you've been doing that. You, you're gonna get, you know. So if you see somebody doing that, they're gonna tell you. But so let me show you a few ways to do it. You're not always gonna be able to do this right here because force. Let me see. Fortunately, I could go right here and do that. Okay, because there's nothing here. But you don't have that all the time. Sometimes this thing they go for. All the way to the wall, and it, see if this one works, right? No, okay, no, no, no. Um, so here we could do it, but two ways we could do it is you go in, you measure this right here. From here to here is three feet, right? So three plus. You see, yeah, three plus one foot nine inch. So it's four nine, right? It's mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that's four foot nine. Inch. Yeah, not that's being accurate, and you're doing your job properly. Okay, so that's one. Uh, so I'm gonna put four nine. Four nine, right? And and when I measured it earlier, when, when I did this right here, it did measure four nine. You see, it's exactly four nine. So. We know that it's being done properly. Another way, if you have all the freaking little tools I have, I got this device, okay, that will go in and, uh, oh, I, I, this one here, I put it away because I didn't think I was going to use it one more. So give me a second here. I usually don't have it down here. I, I didn't think I was going to use it. This particular device, <clears throat> It's a measuring device, just on a digital, right? I can go in here. So, can you see? Okay, so I would go in here and I measure that. Okay? Then I have a thing where I can put a plus on there. Okay? And then I would measure this right here and hit. And then, look at that. 4.7, uh, 8, which is. You know, like close to four, uh, four feet nine inches. Okay. So I have all kinds of devices that I can get from A to B. You know, but um, I know a lot of guys will go out there and they'll measure a room in two minutes, two seconds, but they're not measuring. I believe in giving everybody. And I went to school when every class that I go, they say get to the closest inch. And that's how I do it. I don't make as much as everybody else. I only make about 150 to 175,000 in school per month. Those guys that don't measure, they're making 200,000 easily in, in five or six months, easily. But I do things right, it takes me longer. Uh, I don't care about money that much. I can retire when I want to. I'm 61 years old, so uh, I'm already established. Uh, now, so if I grab this guy right here and put him on top of that other one, and I'm going to snap that right there. Okay, so watch this. Now I'm going to hit 3D. There you go. See? Uh Oh, you know what? My my uh, my cabinet. One thing I, I forgot to do on the upper, the height, right? Because that looked weird. Okay, so we're gonna go with the height. Go to the height, and that you see, I hit my three D. I saw how close it was to the ceiling, so I knew it was wrong. So that's why you need to measure your height. Okay, and you need to measure your height. So now the height of this thing is uh, one foot seven inch. So change it to one comma. 
What did I say? One seven? Yes. Yeah, one seven. You hit enter. Now, if you hit 3D, see? Now, you see? Look. Shut up. Okay, spam. Okay, so now we got those. Okay, so um, so look, we have this, and we have this, and we have this. Now, one thing we haven't talked about. Why do you draw this thing? Well, the biggest reason to draw this thing is because, like I said before, you need to remove this from the back of the wall because when we're painting, we're not going to paint back there, so we don't owe them to paint behind here, to paint behind here. Now, this one we would because this is going to be detached because this is a movable object. If it's something permanently attached to the wall, you're not going to be able to detach it just to paint. You're not going to paint. You're going to paint around it, right? So, look, let me show you how this works. So on the refrigerator block, you see right here, by default, when I draw something, it automatically tells it to remove, remove, remove from, from, from uh, uh, behind uh, the floor, uh, behind, under, under, underneath, above. So on their refrigerator, I would actually say, in, in, yours is in, right? All of yours are ends, right? On the what? On, on, the, on, on the preferences, on, on the removal of it. So go to 1D. Go to 1D. Okay. Uh, click on, uh, double click on the, refri uh, the refrigerator. Okay. Double click on it. So go, go to your preferences. Okay. You okay. see Sorry. where it says, yeah, you see okay. where the behavior, you see the behavior? Right here. By default, it said to no. Okay, every time, but when I create one, I have my preferences set yes. to, to yes, because 99% of the know. time if I'm gonna draw a box, it's because I wanna remove that from the wall. Okay, so. So, so you're saying, Hector, that, that whenever you make a template, you set it to yes. Automatically, yes. When I draw, as back. soon as I draw, okay. Those yes. preferences are set. And they'll stay the same. Yes, they'll stay the same. Okay. And then, so that's another lesson later on. Actually, I have a bunch of videos that explain how that happens. But uh, on this one here, um, you know, uh, and they, they, those are good questions, Tommy. Those, those, that's exactly the kind of questions I need. Because, you know, somebody else probably has the same question. Okay. So I changed mine, right? Now, so on the next one, and Tommy, the reason we said no on this one is because this is something that, 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 that rolls out. That rolls out. Right. And so okay. we can detach and reset that and paint back there. Okay. okay? So, so we're not removing this area from the back wall. Now, we're going to have to do it here and here. Now, if you watch mine, like I'm going to double click on my lower cabinets. Um, you see, mine are set to yes, yours are set to no, right? I need for you to change yours. I need for you to yes. Yep. So, yeah. But I, I, uh, Exactly. We don't remove it from the estimate. Okay, now, okay, so we're going to move over and we're going to uh, draw some um, uh, a desk, some shelves, and um, a dresser. Okay, so let me see. Uh, 
What's the best? One here and change this to. So we'll start with this guy right here. Okay, so this is a desk. And I'm, I'm gonna lower it a little bit so you can see whenever I um, start talking about certain things, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. See, I'm gonna move my, my, my uh, computer so north is that way again. Okay, so are we ready? So Tommy, so be careful. Remember, whenever we start drawing, don't go beyond this because it's just gonna pop right out of there, right? Right. Okay. Now this is gonna be kind of uh, this is gonna be cool. We're gonna draw this exactly like you see it. Okay. So this is beyond level two. This is not level one. This is not le This is level two. You're not gonna have this in level one certification. This is more like a level three certification. Okay. okay? So we're uh, so let me hear that, that that's one of the rules. So I do need to take that. Let me pause this. Um, all right, guys, we're back. So um so now we're gonna now we're gonna draw first I'm gonna draw this guy here. So look, from here to here, you get a base height. Then it goes up to here because back here, no, back here, this is how much we're going to take out of the wall. And I want to go ahead and bring it this way, but we're not going to, we're not going to remove it from the floor because there's floor here. Okay. So first, let's draw this guy here. Okay. So we're going to hit O for block. Okay. Oops. Uh, I keep on hitting the zero instead of the O. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, first we're going to go with the width. Okay. So, I'm going to measure it. Okay. The width. Width. Five one. Okay, and the depth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the depth of it. Uh, it goes from here to here. See it. From here to here, there's a depth, which is one feet, two inches. One, no, one oh, feet, one comma two. Or was it two, one, or one, two? No, actually, it's one feet, ten inches. One feet, ten inches. Oh. One feet, ten inches. Okay, now, um, so so I'm gonna put that against the wall. Let me show you how, how it looks. And that's not, we still gotta put the depth on it. So look, I mean, the uh, see right now it's on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna click on here, go to your properties. Um, the distance from the floor is, So we're going to do it from right here, okay? So that's going to be two, three. And then the height, so we're only going to go from here to here, okay? So the height is going to be 10 inches. Uh huh. Quotation. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so 3D. Now you see, see, we're looking at this part right here. From here to here, there's nothing down here, and there's nothing up there. We've got five white, and that's what we got right there. See, from here to here, right there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, and we're going to call this the desk. Okay, now we have, what do you want to call this right here? Dresser? Okay, so we're going to... We're gonna, TV stand. Well, we yeah, let's call it a TV stand. You know, it could be anything. So, so um, I'm just gonna look, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna grab that guy. I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna hit Control V, and I, and then I'm gonna make the width of it. The first thing I'm gonna do is the width, and the width is. Uh, let me see if you can see me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, the distance from the floor. It's going to be right here. It's one foot six inches. And the height is this part right here. Okay, so the height is two four. Two four. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this next to that other. Oops, bring it next to the other desk. Yeah, there's gonna be the same depth. And then with 3D, see, look, see, if you notice, see, this is like that, look at this, it's like right in the middle, right? And that's the same thing we got going on right here, see, and it's lower to the ground than this one, see, it's mm -hmm. looking like that. Yeah, exactly, good job, good job, good job. Okay. You're a good timer. <laughs> okay, now, so guys, so let me move this. Uh, let's come like this. Okay, so we're going to move the computer over. Now we're going to bring this guy right here. Let's see how far I can go up here. Okay, now we're going to do that. Okay, so going to go back to 1D. Uh, so I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, and uh, that's uh, actually. So, yeah, yeah. No, we already done that one. We're going to do this. Yeah, yeah. The depth, yeah, the depth is going to be the same. So let me, so I'm going to do this guy next, right? So I'll copy and paste it because remember that F from here to here is the same from here to here, from here to here. So that's why I copied that same right. one. Okay, so um, now let's get the width. I always like to do the width first. The width is one foot six inches. So I'll click here, one comma six, <clears throat> then 
we're going to move it over right here. And so the distance from the floor is zero because, you see, it goes to the floor right here. Wow. Okay, so the distance to the floor is zero. Okay. And then the height, I'll get the height in a minute. So let's, let's go. Uh huh. Distance from the floor is zero. Now we're going to go with the height. And, and remember what I was telling y'all about uh, about the measure uh, uh, measuring your your measuring device. So look, guys, can you see the bottom? Yes. Look, look. I'm gonna put my foot here, and I have control. So I have control over this, and it doesn't go anywhere, right? So now all I have to do is go like this, move it up. See? You see how? I'm not doing all of this it's because my foot is stabilizing this this uh, uh, tape. So we got six feet three inches. Okay. Six comma three. Enter. Now look. Hit three D. There you go. Remember, looking at this. This one here is this. Cause it's backwards because you know uh uh that's the back of me huh oh i have a shelf okay shelf. so how does that sound okay now we got one last thing and remember this is the same gap from here to the back all of this is the same depth, right? So I can copy this and, and, and move on. So control C, control V. Uh, and I'm gonna, the first thing I'd like to do is get the width of it. It's probably close to 510. So actually it's four feet. There's a space on the other end. So it's four feet. The width is four feet. Uh huh. Yeah. Look. But the re the reason it's not going all the way to the end because look on this side, in this one here, there's a space. So, we, right. so once we once we do the the measurement, we're just gonna start pushing everything over this okay. way, and we'll yeah. have a little bit of space yeah. out there. Okay. Okay. So so remember, four feet, right? Four feet. Okay, and this one is, uh, I'm going to call this, oh, it's a, a coat, uh, hanger, what would you call it, a, a coat hanger, yeah. yeah. Okay, now I'm going to double click. We already got the width, distance from the floor. Is four eleven. The height. And look, see how it lined up? See? Remember, you're looking at the opposite of this. So, so we got this, which is this. We got this, which is this. We got the TV stand, which is this we got the uh, 
which is this, and then here's the desk. Okay, now, see, you see this space we have here, and the reason that space is there is because now we're going to grab this, and we're going to move it to the left. Okay, we're going to get the shelf, move it next to it. The desk next to it. Desk next. And then we got uh, then we have space on the other end. Okay, so you can see that. Now you got that space on the other end. You see in between? And that's what you're looking at right there. Okay, now um, Oh, you know what? I'm charging the battery, but I forgot to turn this thing on so we can charge. There it goes. So I'm charging my battery, but we, we ran out of uh, juice. Been running this thing all day. So I have a battery pack, but I attached my phone to it so I can move it around. Okay, guys. So now. Uh, sorry it took so long, it's just, you know, like, <clears throat> to draw this, it literally takes seconds. Okay, so my wife, she's an old solar adjuster, she does the measuring for me, I sit on the computer, and she measures it, she knows that I, if it was a whisper, she knows that the next thing I need is, is the gap, and then she knows that the next thing is the height. And it just, I'm sitting there literally as fast as I can type it, she's measuring it. As a matter of fact, she has to weigh on it, and I can type it real fast. And uh, so this right here, if she took us more than five minutes, then she did it out. And this right here takes five minutes to draw all of this. It's just that, you know, I'm teaching y'all. Stop. Let me 